Tizo Touchdown just released his debut album, How Do You Sleep at Night? Let's talk about it. You would have thought that I finally made your major the way I play with the bands. You would have thought that I worked at the venue the way that I packed out the stands. Tizo Touchdown has been making waves in the music and the fashion industries with his unique style, his unique sound, his ability to add to any style of track whenever he's featured. So I was super excited to listen to this debut album, and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. The main thing that jumps out to me while listening to this album for the first time are Tizo's vocals. He has such an extreme control vocally. He can go gravelly on command, he can sing low, he can sing high, and he sounds fantastic doing it all. His delivery is fantastic as well, so the way that he enunciates and the way that he emphasizes some words really portrays the emotions that he's feeling very well. At risk of sounding blasphemous, the closest thing that I can relate this album to is a Prince album. Tizo himself in an interview even talked about how this album has kind of its own special genre. What is the sound that I'm crafting that's called rock and boom? Mm -hmm. It's R&B with the intensity of rock. It has R&B top lines. The boom, of course, for boom bap, is the boom bap penmanship. Mm -hmm. It's also the boom because, you know, the 808 is going to shake the world. The album's intro, OK, is a straight up rock song with very playful lyrics. It sets the tone of the uniqueness of this album. Then we have You Thought, which features Janelle Monet, and this was the lead single to the album, which you guys already know from last week that I really like this track. Uh is definitely one of my favorites on the album. This one really has me dancing. And then we get Sweet, which features Fouché, and it is incredible. The vocals on this one are very, very good. That three track run of You Thought, Uh, and Sweet is one of the best of the year. Mood Swings is another really fun one. This one's really groovy. I can picture myself checking this track out whenever I'm having a bad day. The songwriting on this track is phenomenal. New Nay is another great one. And then the album closes out with the original Was Better, which has an EDM house beat at the end. Despite there being some unique sounds that I highlighted, my main critique of the album, if I had to pick one, is that a lot of the instrumentation is just a guitar with some drums. And Tizo doesn't actually ever rap on the album, which is totally fine by me. He just positions himself as kind of a Swiss army knife that can really hold his own in any style. It's impressive. It's cool knowing that he has been known for hopping on rap songs and R&B songs. But on his debut album, he kind of moves away from that and shows the world that he can do so much more. As always, I've added my favorite tracks off of the album to my New Music Friday playlist, which you can find the link to my Spotify in my bio. On this playlist, I update it every single week with my favorite releases. That way, you don't miss anything. And if you want to, you are welcome to join my Discord community that I just started this week. I've got a couple people in there, and we've been talking about the releases tonight, and it's been really fun. And we're going to do it every single week. You can find the link to my Discord in my bio as well. Tizo, congrats on the great debut album. I've got my Knicks PJs on just as you requested. Guys, let me know below in the comments what do you think about Tizo Touchdown's debut album, How Do You Sleep at Night? I'm Honeybee Reviews, and don't forget to follow me for more music-related content.